Today, I'm going to be demonstrating the proper way of doing a Save Me From customized mask on my client and model, Gina here. We're going to be doing a spa treatment protocol and um, Gina is the perfect candidate for the chemical conflict. Generally what she uses at home is she uses the sun and sun, the sun and sweat. She lives at the beach, she's very active, and so the sun and sweat is what she uses more in a daily usage. Um, but she did just have her extensions taken out, she does have some breakage, and she got her color done. So we're gonna kind of attack and treat that kind of damage specifically. So we're gonna start off by setting the steamer so that we can start steaming the hair. The heat, what it does is it helps to open up those cuticles and for a better penetration of the product. To wet the hair for better spreadability of the product, I'm going to take warm water and also hot sponges and we're gonna dampen the hair. So we've, added, we've started her with some steam and then I'm going to take this bottle here, and it's just with warm water. Always check the temperature on your wrist, kind of like a baby bottle, to make sure that you don't burn your client. I'm gonna lightly start at the scalp and just kind of run it down. I like to wear gloved fingers, that way I my, my hands don't absorb any of the product and 100% of the product goes into the client's hair and scalp. You don't want to saturate the hair, but you do want to dampen it so that it makes the spreadability of the mask much easier. When you're going to do the back of the head, just slightly take your client, turn their head like this, and then follow again. Just in nice lines. And then with your fingers, you're just gonna kind of massage it in. And you'll see the hair is starting to get damp. I like to put a towel rolled up behind the client's neck so that the water doesn't drain all over them. And it's for more comfort. The water bottle I use at the scalp, I'm going to use actually facial sponges and use that for the long strands. That way I have more control over the dampening process. So you don't want to wring it out like you would a facial, you're going to leave it somewhat wet and then you're just going to kind of run it through. Before your client starts treatment, it's very important to encourage them to thoroughly brush out their hair so that you can avoid any tangles during your service. Make sure you get the ends nice and damp because we are starting at the ends and working to the scalp. Turn your head again and work the back. With this steam, I don't like to go longer than 10 minutes just because steam can irritate some client's scalp or it might just be too intense for the client with that much humidity. So I'm going to be using the chemical conflict on Gina's hair. I like to use either a spatula or a wooden spoon to um, portion out my products. With her hair length, I would do no more than a walnut size. This is one of the minis that I'm using. But in the full sizes that you can be taken home or purchased by the client, there is a pump action, so it's approximately three to four pumps for long hair. So I like to take it like this and use this as my spoon. And then I just do sections. 
And it's always tip to root. If you do sections, you're gonna remember where you put the product on a lot easier than if you're just kind of winging it. Tilt your client's head. Like uh, Gina had informed me before, she did have extensions. She had been wearing extensions for a very long time. So now her hair is in a natural state, except for coloring. But it's in dire need of some help. Once you put your product in, just lightly massage it. I like to take a little bit, a very small amount, pea size, rub it in my fingers. And this is great because it is very stimulating. And you can work from the temples back. Feels good to the client. It also helps with all those little baby hairs that are so fragile. And then you can run your fingers down from the hairline and through the scalp. I would do probably about a five minute head massage just to really get that product work through all those strands. As you can see, it's evenly blended. It feels actually amazing already. And if you continuously blend, a little goes a long way. Now, obviously, if Gina had longer hair, thicker hair, the portion size would be a little bit different. On men, it would be half that size. And then if they had facial hair, we would include the beard and that. So once you have the product thoroughly massaged through the hair into the scalp, remove the roll towel from underneath the client's head. And at this time, you can do shoulder, neck, and decollete massage. So now we're going to go into the removal of the mask from the client's hair. So if your client has really thick, dense hair or long hair, I definitely recommend taking your warm water and reapplying it just as you did in the beginning so that it's a little bit more wet um, before you do your hot steamed towels. With Gina, because her hair doesn't have the extensions and she just recently got it cut, we're gonna be okay and we're just gonna go straight to the hot towel. Grabbing the hot towel, because it is a wet towel, you always want to check on your forearm to make sure that it is at a temperature that your client can tolerate and it's not uncomfortable. So you're going to drape it along the hair, wrap around the head, lift your client, and then cradle the hair in. And you're just going to let that sit for a minute and just really kind of re-soften any of the mask that's cooled off so it's easier to remove. This also feels really relaxing for the client. Okay, and so then we're going to start removing. Go ahead and relax. And again, you're just going to kind of do that massaging of the scalp and then running the towel through the hair in sections, just like when we applied the mask. That way you can get a, a more thorough removal. 
So what I would definitely suggest, a lot of clients do like to leave this in overnight and this would be a great way to kind of just remove the excess and send your client home and have them just braid it or put it in kind of a wrap and then sleep and then they can just rinse it in the shower the next day and that's for maximum benefits. If there's a little bit of residue left in the hair, that's fine because it is great for right before blow dry and putting that heat on, um, it gives a nice texture to it. So once I've done the warm hot towel that's wet, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a hot dry towel. Same way, you don't have to be as concerned with the temperature on the dry towel because it doesn't have that moisture in there that really gets warm. Again, wrapping the client. And this is just gonna kinda draw out any excess dampness or water. Again, just giving a nice relaxing massage removal. I personally like to remove my gloves during the removal process, if allowed, um, just so that I can really feel with my fingers how much mask is left, if you know, if any. That's it. Thank you so much. So a couple of things that I wanted to go over with you that I didn't talk about during the treatment and that was ways to treat this as an add-on to any service. If you are just doing a facial, what you would do is you would start off with this uh, hair treatment and scalp treatment and then at the end when you go to remove it with the hot towel, then you can go directly into facial at that time. With massage, it's very simple. As soon as you get to the point where you flip your client and your client is now facing up, instead of just doing the scalp massage, you would go into the hair mask treatment at that time. And then if your spa does have a Venetian shower, then it's very easy to incorporate that in a scrub or a body treatment or one of the wraps and then just rinse the hair with the Venetian shower at that time. A lot of people like to take the treatment home and use it as an overnight mask, which is definitely encouraged. You're gonna get your maximum benefits like that. Um, or you can remove it as we did in today's protocol. Thank you.